Not only do the Democrats not have enough votes for the assault weapon ban, they only have 40 right now. The pressure we've been putting on has been working. I'm going to give you the list and show you who they don't have in their corner. But first, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, and that is the Snorin Desert Institute. Guys and gals, many of us gun owners like to tinker with or repair or upgrade our own firearms. Well, not, why not turn that passion into a career? SDI is a distance learning institute where all of the tools and materials are shipped directly to your door. They have classes like ballistics, gunsmithing, armorers courses, and even drone classes. Start the path at getting your certificate or your degree at the link down below, sdi.edu. Thank you to SDI for sponsoring this video. Guys and gals, you know Joe Biden has been pushing after every incident in this country, he pushes for an assault weapon ban. I'm going to do it again. He wants to ban uh, semi-automatic everything, actually, now. He wants to ban semi-automatic everything. But he's pushing after semi-automatic rifles and magazines because he's still living in that Bill Clinton era ban in his brain fog. And we put a lot of pressure on said Republicans after they voted for the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, which provided bribe money to states for red flag, as well as uh, putting extra infringements on adults who are aged 18 but not yet 21 with extended background checks and states can take over the investigations to dig stuff up. So we, the Second Amendment community, thank you to many of my viewers. You have been calling, you have been emailing. Some of you have even shown up to office hours for your elected officials. And it worked because now at the end of this Congress, it's like a week left in their, their calendar, 10 days, you have put enough, you've put enough of them on notice that they're not touching the assault weapon ban. Because there's another final push going on that I told you about. It's dead in the water. There's no way enough people are going to flip the switch with a couple days left. I don't see it ever happening. But I wanted to let you know just how successful your efforts have been. This is a list of quote-unquote holdouts in the Senate. And this was published by the Newtown Alliance in a crybaby, sore loser type of way. They're calling out these 60 senators. And what I want you to notice is that all 50 of the Republicans, quote unquote Republicans, are not backing the assault weapon ban, which means your pressure worked. But more importantly, these 10 Democrats are not backing it. Maria Cantwell from Washington, Catherine Cortez uh, Mastro from Nevada, Martin Heinrich from New Mexico, Mark Kelly, shocker, Mark Kelly, Arizona, he's one of those, I can shoot it, but you can't. Patrick Leahy, Vermont. Joe Manchin of West Virginia. John Ossoff from Georgia. Kristen Cinema of Arizona, who is leaving the Democrat Party to become an independent, but will probably still caucus with them, so same, same. And then John Tester and uh, Angus King. So this is a moment that you, the viewers, should be saying, hey, look, our efforts made a difference. Good job, guys and gals, seriously. This would not have happened without an outcry, without a push to stop the BS, to, to stop these Congress jerks in the swamp from doing whatever the elite puppet holder, puppet string holders uh, wanted. And it's, it's you, guys and gals. Good job. Um, thank you for taking action when it's time to take action. Uh, remember, politicians' only interest is to get reelected. When they feel heat, they see the light. And this is a victory for everyone who actually made the effort to contact these creeps. Now, this fight will never end. They will never stop coming for the Second Amendment because ultimately they want a global power. And it's on us. We can do it if we pull together. Proof is in the pudding. And we just stopped the assault weapon ban, the closest they've ever gotten since 1994. Good job, y'all. Guys and gals, if you're interested in the Second Amendment, then hit that subscribe button down below. We know the shadow ban is real. Elon Musk has brought that out on Twitter. And if you want to help the channels you support, the best way to do it is to subscribe to the channel, like videos, share videos, and comment on videos. Those four things take only a couple of seconds of your life, yet it helps the channels you watch greatly, immensely. So thank you for your time and your support. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe, and keep the pressure on those in the swamp. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.